Before performing any procedures on an injured person, make sure you have your gloves on. To learn more about how to put on gloves properly, refer to one of my earlier videos in the playlist. Hi, my name is Thomas Vogel, and today I'll be showing you how to splint an extremity. As you can see, this person, his name's Chance, he uh, hurt his wrist leading up to this incident. So first we're going to do, we're going to ask if we can help him. Chance, can we help you? Okay. After that, we're going to run our primary check. For this primary check, you use the acronym RAP-ABC. R standing for responsiveness, he's responsive. A standing for activate EMS, well, he's not that injured, so maybe you might have a follow-up appointment for an x-ray, but it might just be spraying for all we know. Next, we're going to position him that he's in a comfortable position, which he is. <clears throat> Finally, we're going to check the airway breathing, and circulation, blood and air flow to make sure he's still alive and he's going to survive. Throughout this process, we need to use the acronym CSM. It stands for Circulation, Sensation, and Movement. So now that we know that there's an injury on his wrist, we need to make sure we don't move it as much, okay? And we're going to feel it out to see what parts of it hurts. So like he said, right around here, if you touch it, it, it starts to hurt, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to incapacitate it by putting this piece of wood on it, and then from there, we're going to grab this. Can you grab that for me, Chance? That bit rope? Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to wrap it around a piece of wood. Okay. This is going to help to make sure it doesn't come out of place, and if it gets worse throughout the night, we're going to see a doctor in the morning. And if he was unconscious, I would need help from another person or I'll need to call EMS because there, uh, there could be other potential problems with them. And throughout this process, we need to constantly see if it hurts. Does that hurt? It's fine. Just here. Okay, just there. That's good. We're going to wrap it to make sure it's incapacitated. Okay, now that we have that done, <coughs> We're just going to hold it, and from here, we're going to use the R-I-G-E acronym, which stands for Rest, Ice, Compressions, and Elevation. So make sure there's blood flow, and we don't cut off blood flow, and then everything stays on. Now that we've splinted his wrist properly, we need to constantly assess it throughout the night. If it swells up even more and if it gets more pain, we might take him to the doctor to get an x-ray and see if there's further damage or if it's just sprained. <clears throat> As I said earlier, we need to activate the process CSM, which stands for circulation, sensation, and movement. So he can't move right now because we're worried about it being broken. Um, he can still feel your fingers, right? Okay, he can still feel his fingers, and that's good. And we're also gonna apply ice to it overnight. 